GPT-4 can already write a PhD-level research paper and can solve complex calculus questions. If you think that's the extent of what OpenAI can achieve, you aren't ready for GPT-5. The next generation of AI is revolutionary. Its multimodal capacities will open up a new paradigm on the internet, something that we've never seen before. So, to give you a glimpse of the future, we're breaking down GPT-5's six super advanced capabilities. Let's get started. Number one, multi-sensory experience. The next iteration of ChatGPT will not just limit itself to text and image processing. In fact, GPT-5 is expected to integrate a multimodal structure that would set it apart from its generative AI competitors. GPT-5's multimodal capabilities would be pretty diverse. The program will be able to process and analyze audio, video, long-form data, temperature data, and depth data. So yeah, you're looking at a new horizon of prompt engineering. For instance, any sort of statistical inference from year-long weather data will be as easy as ABC for GPT-5. Its generation capacity will be unprecedented. The type of data analysis it will be able to do might even render a lot of paradigms of education obsolete. Because here's the thing, GPT-5 won't be just doing the analysis part for you, it will also have the foremost capability to replicate complex patterns, even if they are profoundly mathematically sound. So in terms of generating statistical inferences or producing contextually accurate data patterns, GPT-5 will do a remarkable job. Plus, as OpenAI continues to work on CLIP and DAL-E, we're sure more sophisticated versions of these AI models will also be integrated into GPT-5. And when that happens, content creation will be revolutionized. Number two, democratization of content creation. When we use the word multi-sensory experience, we're also looking at a new horizon of curating entertainment through GPT-5. And nope, we're just not talking about GPT writing scripts for hour-long movies that also have an in-depth shot description. It is expected that GPT-5 is going to harness its existing capacity to create an unparalleled generative model that heavily relies on user interaction. As long as GPT keeps improving its understanding of a prompt and gives you sensitive results, anyone, and we mean anyone, can use the model to create content. By content, we just don't mean visual media. Think about something bigger. It is expected that GPT-5 will be able to create 3D models, virtual realities, alternative realities, movies, and even video games through a simple prompt. That's right. Gone are the days of just using a text-based generative AI to write scripts or simple narration-based ideas. With GPT-5, you'll be able to create high-value, monetized content by using multiple modalities like audio, video, text, and so on. There's a reason why OpenAI is transcending its GPU capacity to heavily invest in DAL-E and CLIP. These two tools are going to be monumental in creating visual elements that will be both convenient and mesmerizing. The impact of GPT-5 is quite easy to predict from this particular dimension. We're looking at a massive wave of democratizing art and who gets to create art. In many ways, ideas won't be restricted by the lack of technology and resources. Anyone will be able to create art. That might sound like a lot of mainstreaming in one particular industry, but hey, not every GPT-5 user will be looking to commercialize its multimodal capabilities. GPT-5 will just be an accessory that brings your ideas to life and doesn't necessarily fall into the binaries of good or bad. But that's not all. GPT-5 will also give us an opportunity to create more interactive and open source programs like video games. So picture this. A set of prompts that has created visual imagery for a particular video game can easily be tweaked as well. This way, the entire paradigm of video games will attach a new meaning to interactive real-time media. Perhaps you'll be able to create your own storylines within games or your interaction with the plot might get changed according to your interests and likes and so on. Number three, GPT-5 will predict the future. If you think increasing the accessibility of art is revolutionary, hear us out. 
In the case where OpenAI actually has the GPU capacity to train GPT-5, we're looking at a very certain future, for the most part at least. We have all the reasons to believe that GPT-5 will be able to predict future outcomes with greater accuracy, certainty, and sophistication. We've already talked about how GPT-5 statistical inference is just on the horizon. But at the same time, its multimodal capacities and large language models will allow it to be all-encompassing. That particular idea will lead GPT-5 to collect and work with more data points than it has ever done before. But of course, just having a large amount of data isn't enough. Sure, a large-scale data mining capacity is pretty useful, but GPT-5 will also be able to do strategic data filtering to do something unimaginable. It'll have the ultimate autonomy to create unique ecosystems like alternative worlds, virtual realities, and historical paradigms with the data it has optimized. This means that GPT-5 will work with prompts that don't only inquire about the present or the status quo. It'll also help you to test out your theories and hypotheses. Based on data points, it will be able to predict what our world will look like and how certain solutions for particular problems are going to pan out. Of course, currently, we do have analytical and statistical models that achieve the same outcomes. But they aren't as fast and trustworthy. GPT-5 is going to change that forever. Technically speaking, GPT-5 will give you testing grounds to predict certain outcomes or events. As of now, testing certain theories or hypotheses is pretty expensive and a painstaking project. With GPT-5, our future will be more secure and certain. Number 4. GPT-5 Empowered Robots Okay, now we understand that testing hypotheses might not interest an average daily consumer. But trust us when we say that GPT-5 will have an impact on everyone's life in quite meaningful ways. LLM's multimodal capabilities will allow it to empower robots to have a more human-centric approach in performing certain tasks. Generally speaking, a robot operating with GPT-5 will be more intelligent than your everyday household robots. As of now, robots are built to do very specific tasks in very specific ways. GPT-5 can make your everyday robots more creative. Let's just go with that. For instance, a GPT-5-empowered robot will have the capacity to inform decisions. Maybe it can cook a delicious meal for you by first assessing the ingredients you have in your fridge and pantry. Basically, any robot will be able to meet the specific needs of its user or owner. It will tailor its operations to meet certain requirements or adapt itself to certain situations. In many ways, robots will not have a uniform or a macro approach to achieve tasks. In our cooking example, maybe the robot will conjure up recipes that take care of the consumer's preferences, like their allergies or dietary restrictions. Pretty exciting, right? If this is not enough, Robots used for educational purposes could be empowered to create interactive classrooms. Any teacher or professor will then have to learn the soft skill of prompt engineering to make GPT-5 do wonders in their classroom. Perhaps the empowered robot will learn ways to make education more accessible. For example, it can impart class lessons in a way that is easy to understand for kids with learning barriers or disabilities. Number 5. Self-Creation so if GPT-5 is training robots to achieve some flexibility in their operations, we can reasonably believe that it also has the capacity to generate other AI models. The algorithms and datasets used to train for GPT-5 will be pretty extensive. If anything, it will have reasonable datasets to generate its own AI models. Many experts label this sort of thing as autonomous AI model development. But don't get us wrong. We are not saying that GPT-5 will instantly become sentient. What we're referring to is the ultimate capacity to integrate existing AI systems to harness their particular capacities to perform certain tasks. So if anything, GPT-5 will be optimizing AI models to make the best use of them. Once OpenAI is able to work around this particular idea, we are looking at an entirely new paradigm of the internet. Data processing will have a brand new face altogether. Number 6. GPT-5 as your virtual assistant. If you think about it, we all are walking data sets. 
what we prefer to eat during breakfast, our social media passwords, our schedule, and literally everything about us is one big data set. And if there's anything GPT-5 will be able to do, it is to optimize data sets to make informed decisions or perform tasks accordingly. This makes us wonder if GPT-5 will make an excellent virtual assistant that will be able to handle important tasks for you. And well, we think it will do a stellar job. The interactive nature of GPT-5 will allow you to train the model to learn your preferences, memorize your schedule, and even anticipate your needs. For instance, it will be able to set your alarms as per your daily routine, or maybe it will schedule meetings for you efficiently. Maybe you can ask GPT-5 to set your lunch menu and place orders accordingly. The best part is that it will access your ordering history and preferences to make informed decisions. You will not have to interact with it personally to make sure it's doing exactly what you want or prefer. With GPT-5, the possibilities are endless. And perhaps the world isn't ready for it. Let us know in the comments below if you're excited about GPT-5. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.